Hey guys, so as you can see from the title, we have something to talk about. Um, so you know that medical emergency I keep talking about that happened in April? So it was this, which, which is um, the fact that we had a chemical pregnancy, which is also known as an early miscarriage. And it was really devastating when it happened, especially after such a an emotional day that happened the day before the next day experiencing the miscarriage um it was just it was really rough um but so we ended up like I ended up finding out that I was pregnant on April 8th and it was super early still um I had taken like one pregnancy test and that that test was like super faint to the point where like you could barely see the line and then every day for the next like few days I started like I was just taking a test like every single day trying to see like wait am I really pregnant like is this really happening yeah we were and, trying for so long too yeah well since like I guess I guess like officially trying was maybe like November yeah. October yeah I think like we were October. trying like on and off like before that yeah but, like really trying since November yeah, we were so, so happy. We were so happy, like so happy. And um and yeah, and so like the next days um I was taking a pregnancy test and the line kept getting darker and darker and darker and then finally I told Casey about it and that's when we were really celebrating and told Isaac, told our family. Um and we we're all just super excited and on April 21st is when I had the miscarriage, but the previous day, um, I was shooting big mood and that's when, um, it was a very stressful day. And that day I started spotting like later on at night, I started spotting. And then the next day was when everything happened. And so what a chemical pregnancy is, it's when like, it's an early miscarriage, which means it's like shortly after implantation. So we only knew for like about two weeks. I was mm -hmm. pregnant. So shortly after implantation, it's when um, something happens. Like it's, it could be unexplained. It could be like abnormalities or like chromosome abnormalities, or it could just be like it wasn't like a proper, properly implanted or millions of reasons. Um, what ends up happening is that like my body ended up passing that like embryo. Was it an embryo? Yeah, that embryo as as if it's like a period. So then I just ended up having like a really heavy period. And that's what a chemical pregnancy is in case you guys didn't know, because I had no idea what it was until it happened to me. I went to the doctor, they measured my, my hormone levels and that pregnancy hormone was like, they had me go in like a few days and that pregnancy hormone was just getting lower and lower, which means like, yeah, that the baby had, just passed so yeah, yeah so yeah yeah it took you a while to recover from it too it's yeah like like all these months like like we haven't really been posting a whole lot and um and you know a lot's happened in the last couple months too so it's like it took a while for you to kind of come back come back to it yeah because we actually we didn't even make it to our first appointment like that first OB appointment at, at the six week mark, um, didn't make it to that. And we were planning on, we were planning on telling you guys, like as soon as we finished telling everyone, all of our friends and everything. And after that had happened, um, it just was like, oh man, let me like, this is a lot. Like I had a lot going on in that same week and I just like kind of was in bed. Like I, I couldn't. I couldn't like function. It was just really, I was really depressed. And, um, yeah. And so like, it did take me a long time to finally like come to terms with it, process it, you know, going to, going to therapy about it and, you know, working it out together and like being there for each other. Yeah. And it's definitely brought us closer too. Yeah. How yeah. was it for you? Uh, yeah, it was rough. It was, uh, you know, it's kind of traumatizing. It's like, it's so, like the whole, 
the whole pregnancy thing kind of is so delicate, you know, I'm finding out and it's mm-hmm. like anything can happen and, and like the slightest bit of stress on you is like, could, could end everything. So yeah, it's, it's kind of traumatizing. And it took me a couple of days to like really process it all. Um, but I think we're okay now. And, you know, I think we got, we got definitely got a lot closer. Yeah. I think we spent a lot of time together, you know, um, just encouraging each other. And actually, I want to say, like, during the pandemic, like, we've been really focused on our relationship, too. Yeah. And I think, I think before the pandemic, like, we've always wanted, you know, to have a kid, but we, like, probably just weren't in a good place yet in our relationship. Yeah, right. uh, just a lot of things that had to work out. And I think the pandemic really gave us an opportunity to really just like have no distractions and really work on a relationship yeah. and um kind of iron it all out and so in november i think we were like i think we're good yeah. i think we're good and we're in a better place and let's do this baby thing um but yeah so i guess we'll be trying soon but i, I do want to address um I, I i find it so infuriating sometimes when i read certain comments about tiff uh needing needing to give me a baby like like she is like supposed to give me a baby i yeah i I don't know it just that makes me mad because uh she doesn't need to give me a baby you know if we're not ready for it we're not ready for it and if we are we're trying you know and like the pressure of needing to get pregnant and all that stuff all these years it's like ever since we got married i think like those comments just started coming in you know it's like when you guys gonna have a baby i mean i think there's 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 a nice way to ask it and there's like a very i think entitled way of of going about it yeah so um yeah because like all this time and we've also been very vocal like we we do want to have kids like I do want to have more kids and I don't know yeah like getting those comments throughout all these years and and people being just so cruel like really cruel and saying that like wow how how can like you know Tiff have her own kid and have Casey raise him, but she won't give uh, Casey um, a baby of his own. Like, it's just, it's really mind-blowing how some people can, like, just piece things and forget that we're actual human beings. Like, we're not just characters on a TV show or something that you can just criticize like this. But I do want to say, like, I'm so, like, so grateful to those of you that have, like, defended us in the comments and have placed these people in, in their place and said like, hey, you know, back off, like you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And and so I just wanna say like, I really appreciate you guys so much for having our backs like that. It's it's not, it hasn't gone unnoticed. And it means a lot to me that you guys have been so supportive and have been so understanding, you know, like we're, we're real. Like we actually are, like we have a marriage, we have a relationship, we, we are trying, we're, we are doing our best and yeah, so, so, you know, like, like what Casey was saying, the fact that this whole pandemic, like me personally, like, especially if you followed uh, me through other channels, like I have been very vocal, like I'm a very vocal kind of person. Like I, I need to put my business out there in order for me to kind of heal from it and move on. Um, and that's why like we talked about this too and like until Casey was ready to talk about this because it's also like his experience that he went through um and that's why now we're talking about it because now we both feel like we're in a good place to speak about it but not just about this experience but even like throughout our entire marriage you know I've been vocal about the fact that like we have had our problems and it really came out of the the, the need to make sure that we're not being misunderstood because at that time it was like, oh, you guys have a fairy tale relationship. You guys are perfect. And that scared me because I'm like, oh my God, we are so not perfect, you guys. Like, let me tell you, we're so not. Like, it it really scared me to have people um, have this like fantasy of our lives. This expectation of uh, being perfect. Yeah, that was that was a lot of pressure and and not just that, but I felt like a liar, like by not saying anything and not being upfront about certain things. And so so now that like, you know, we have been working things out like so much to the point where we were able to get pregnant. Um and, you know, throughout therapy and throughout the whole pandemic, like we've 
really worked on a lot of things. We've grown a lot. We've matured a lot. We've learned to love each other a lot more and really understand each other. And that's something that I also want to put out there for you guys to know. Like you guys heard the bad, now you get to hear the good, you know? Yeah. But yeah, so I guess to answer your questions, we are ready to have a baby and we are trying. <laughs> we even cut out uh, coffee and like alcohol and like, yeah, so like, like yeah, alcohol over. and caffeine. We, we, been off of that stuff and trying to like cleanse your bodies because they say Be like active. yeah like they like like it's for guys if you're drinking alcohol or drinking too much caffeine same with women it could uh limit your sperm production same so. with women oh is, is it okay <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, but yeah it definitely does like impact your your fertility so it okay. does help to cut that stuff out and so as soon as like you know we were like hunkering down we're like all right we're ready let's do this we're at a great place where now we can like prioritize our intimacy and you know like we can actually try to make it happen um that, yeah that's that's when we were just like all right cut out alcohol cut out caffeine exercise more often eat healthier drink more water yeah i've been trying take to work your vitamins. out trying to get rid of my pandemic body my pandemic <laughs> body got pretty bad at one point it was like scrawny arms and and like just flabby <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah same I definitely gain weight. I can see it in my face too. I'm like way more rounder. I'm like, oh no. But yeah, so we are trying. We're hopeful. Um, and yeah, I just really wanted to communicate this experience with you guys. Because, um, you know, we consider you guys part of the family. And always want to be transparent and share whatever we can with you guys. But yeah, that was the medical emergency that I had that I keep bringing up and saying that, hold on, I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> Not like, ready to talk about it. Yeah, Not just wait, wait, wait. But yeah, that's that's what happened. But yeah, uh, thanks for hearing us out. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.